So I think you know I joined the Vagers. Uh, the Vagers are now at peace. No outstanding issues with Swadia or Kyrgyz Kanat or King, Kingdom of Nords or the Rodox or the Saranid Sultanate. So the Vagars are at peace. Now, you should know that when they went to peace, you will see I got right to rule every time they went to peace with somebody. So now my right to rule is at six. If I want to go on my own and take over the world, uh, my right to rule will need to be high enough. And I feel like the renown and honor should be high also um, because that affects, I think, how people react to you. I'll read books once I uh, run out of options. My character is at 16th level, 50 health, experience 44,534, and my next level is 47,892. Now, if you look at my budget, you'll see I didn't get anything from Ud. Diniad, which is the thief that I got as a vassal of the Vagars. But uh, I just got some grains for them, and I'm building a mill there to make more. If you want to see how my businesses are doing, you can just look up here, and you see in the green. So my net change, my party uh, costs 1637 but I'm making 2897. And uh, my current wealth is at 1,202. So I have plenty to start the next business. Now, you'll notice that Praven is green here. That is because the Rodox took it away from the Swadians. So the Swadians attacked the Vagars, and the Rodox backstabbed the Swadians while they were over fighting with us and took their capital, Praven, on the other side of their land, which is what happens if people gang up with their troops on you um, other people may attack them. So, and currently, I believe King Gravith, uh, who's over the Swadians, is, um, has been captured by the Rodox. So that's a small update on what's going on in the world. Oh, there's a tournament here. Uh, you don't mind if I fight in this tournament, do you? We'll, uh, we'll start the business in a moment always oh i'm horrible with this so not that i'm not bad with other stuff but uh these are a pain i'll tell you that Everybody has lances here. So, where is everybody? Oh, there. Whoops. Let me get that. I try and get them from behind. So, and I let them, uh, as long as I have another guy. Gotcha, buddy. Three different colors. I'll let the red attack that guy.
Whoa. All right. So it's hard to fight with a lance on the ground, right? So we just get on the next horse. If I can, you know what? If I can take their horses out, I can take them. He's in the corner, huh? Uh, let's turn this around. Nope. There's another horse. So if they take my horse out, I can grab that one over there. He, let's see. You think he's, looks like he's going after me. Uh, where's the horse? Oh, come on. Horse number three. Ten more may not be very good at this, but he could run the horses. Oh, the other guy got knocked out, so now it's just me and the red guy. Oh, we got you, buddy. So there's three teams with two fighters each in the next round. Surprise, surprise, I actually won that. Oh, so they gave me another one of this. Come on. Oh, this is starting to be a little bit of fun here. Got you. Oh, well, let's let's see if we can get one on the green guy. My horse looks like it's almost down. And I'm notice I improved my proficiency to 58 in pole arms on the screen. So that's one of the purpose of the tournament. Oh, that's <laughs> Whoops. That was stupid of me. Now I'll see if I can let my blue guy attack him as he chases me. There we go. And... That does that. Round two, twice with the lances. Now there's four teams with two fighters each. Oh my goodness. Why do they keep on with these lances? I'm horrible with these. I don't know how to hit with them when I'm close to people. Now we'll look for the strategy here is I'll look for a team which has two people to knock them down. 
See, I notice red has two people. It's the only one besides mine with two people. So I'll focus on the people in the red. The fact that he can do that from the ground is kind of absurd. Look, he's almost got, he's got me dead from the ground. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how they did that. But I did, I didn't do too bad with the lances. Um, all right, now let's take a walk around the streets. You should be able to pull the shield and sword out quickly because if you get into a fight. So the mouse wheel is what controls that. Now we are looking for the town merchant. The armor. You all see the town merchant anywhere? Uh, let's see. Who's that guy up there? Guildmaster. There he goes. Kind of in the back corner here. F to talk. I wish to buy land in this town for a productive enterprise. He said to me, Hello, stranger. You seem to be new to Praven. I am the guildmaster of the town. I tell him I wish to buy land in this town for a productive enterprise. He says, Very good, sir. We in the guild know you and trust you, and I think I could find someone to sell you the land you need. I think it's the renown that does that, so if you get your renown up, they will be acceptive as long as whoever's over the city doesn't dislike you. Usually your honor rating will help that. Um, the velvet, the weavery and dye works to make velvet from silk and dye is usually the most profitable. It says here your profit would be 557 dinars a week. So I'm going to get that because, you know, my goal is roughly 500 a week on the estimate. So, yes, here is the money for the land. And leave. Okay. So, we've done the, we did a tournament in Praven. Um, actually, let's look at our food. Um, grains, a good basic food, grain and bread. And they sell a lot of grain near this area. Fish is further um, towards where I'm at. So uh, we'll stop off on the way back to, um, and notice we have 2,000 now. So we will continue to try and get money for businesses. And now this is going to be a rinse and repeat, but I'm going to show you my method now for selecting who I fight um, of the Sea Raiders and the Bandits. Grain for 52, bread for 47. All right, let's stop at Ebrian. So they must be at war. When these villages get looted, you cannot recruit from them. So the looting has the extra advantage. Uh, that might be a good one to fight. Um, has, has the, uh, you lose um, friendliness with the villages, but 
you do get the, it does have, oh, let me go to Nomar first. All right, so you see without the new city, I'm making 3357 And I got the equivalent of a business from the rents from my village, Udiniad. I got 410 from that. The Dye Works in Raverden gave me 399 So my village gave me more. I think uh, it may have partially to do with keeping your village happy. Like I just got, my village said, uh, I went down to the village center, asked them what they needed. They told me they needed grains. I came to this area by Swadia and over by the road ox and picked up some grains, went back and gave them the bags. I also got an honor from uh, helping a village. Yeah, I don't see any... Uh any grains here I'll control space to speed this up my order of priority is grain bread and then fish so bread's 13 here that's a good price grain is 8 that's a good price I think bread, anything under 40 is probably decent for bread. And anything under 30 for grain is probably decent. Notice bread gives 8 to party morale, while grain only gives 2. But the grain is eaten slower, I think. All right, I have plenty of extra food, so I won't have to stop for a while. So we will head... Back to our area. Remember, the Vagers were knocked down to just one city that they have. And that's why I joined them. The Nords captured Kuro. All right, now, I will show you how I'm selecting people in this area. Oh, by the way, I got Mattel. She showed up, I think it was in Raviden. So if you look at my party, you're, you'll see Mattel there. So I have Lesolet, Alain, Bahaster, Ferentis, Borcha, Metheld, Artemenor, and Ralph. And Metheld, um, she came to me at level seven and did not have much equipment. And uh, if you want to see, pretty sure she's still level seven, so I just got her. See, she's level seven still. And I gave her a little bit of equipment, um, that I got while fighting. And what we will do here. We will look for a large group. Of sea raiders. Or a Sea Raiders group together. So the Saranid Sultanate declared war on the kingdom of Swadia. I will head to the right of Rivichag. Now, there's 21 Tundra Bandits. That's not as good as Sea Raiders. I'll chase them to the edge here. If I don't see anything good, I'll just stay in this area. Now, Nord Huntsmen, they have arrows. So they're actually a little harder than... I think Huntsman has arrows. They're a little harder than some other troops, actually. Like, I will lose more against archers than I will against just regular melee units. 
because my archers will wear them out a little bit. Um, whereas their archers will kill some of mine before I get to them. So they're a little harder. So there's only five sea raiders there. That's not exactly worthwhile. So I will follow him. In the hopes that some other will show up. Notice th there's 28 up here. That's decent. And because they have a Swadian man-at-arms prisoner, I might grab that Swadian man-at-arms if I defeat them. So I'm going to follow that group of 28. Oh, there's 31. Now, you see 28 to the right is 22 or 24, and to the left is 5. So there's a good chance they will all join. And there's 21 on the left. So this is and third so this is going to be nasty. But let's try it anyway. So we'll chase after the 28 as that has the largest number. That's a nice head you have on your shoulders. Okay. So, charge the enemy. F1, F1, 1, F2, F1, 3, F2, F2, to get the cavalry back a bit. And, uh, Zero is everybody, F1. Now look. There the archers fire. CC Raiders killed. And F3 charge. That's what I get for running in the middle. Since they have four, uh, we'll just let them charge. Actually, three... F1, F2, follow me. Ah, there they go. Zero, F1, F3, charge. No casualties for them killed. And I will add the Swadian man at arms. Those are pretty good. And I'll move him up with the Swadian knights there just after them. Actually, let's put him 
just after the Vega Knights. And I always need more infantry. They, I lose the most infantry. That's the Vega Guard and the Vega Veterans. I now have mostly Vega units. I'm not going to take any more of these. So, we may chase these 24 here. Although, several, I'm wounded, Borch is wounded, down at 35%. Now, Methel needs more equipment. So, notice this is 3510, and we just got 3712. So, I'm going to move the 3712 to her. Notice the helmet is 40 and she has a 36, so I'll, I'll give her the helmet. This shield I'll replace with the Nordic shield. And that would be that. I think we can survive um, one more group here. Let's chase these, but I'm going to chase them to the shore while we heal a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's. See, now we have people that are injured. Um, F1, F2, follow me. Let me get them up on the high ground here. And now, one, F2, F1. And three, F2, F2, push them back a little bit. Now watch the archers, watch the messages. We should be able to take out a few of them before they get to us. See Raider kill, do you see the message? So that's one down. That's a second Sea Raider down. So we're already creating more of an advantage for us with the archers before they get to us. Zero, F1, F3, charge. We've eliminated several of them. That should be about it. And that's a victory with no casualties on my side. I get one renown and five morale from that. And 22 of them killed. Now I'm tempted to take these Swadian man-at-arms into my group. Because I like the um, Swadian Knights. And the Man-at-Arms will promote to Swadian Knights. 
I have room for a couple more. Um, sure. Let's hire four of them. We just started a second business. Um, that should compensate for the cost of the man-at-arms. Now, Borcha, I'm going to move him down in my order to the bottom until he heals. Is there anything here we can give to anybody to improve our companions? The sword is a 2719, but the one that Mattel has is a 28 swing damage, 20 thrust damage. So it, she already has a better sword than we can give her. So now we heal while we sell our items. So Wurcheg is fairly close, so we'll go there. Control space to speed it up. Now I'm at 44%, so let me save the game before I enter the city. First the tavern. See if there's a ransom broker. There isn't. The marketplace. One of the reasons we go here and sell the armor is so that I open up inventory spots while getting money. Notice that armor is worth 550. That's the equivalent of one business by itself. Our business, each one gives about 500 a week. That Those armors from the Sea Raiders are selling those just those three for 550 You have to make sure that the store has enough money to buy the items. And that would be a total of 625 And then in the arms store... You use the control key and you left click with the mouse in order to push these over there. Now he has 737 and we're up to 648 already. All right, so I have to take that back. Um, 657, 672, 687, 705. Yeah, that will work. So we get 705. That's the equivalent of a business in half. So the equivalent of two and a half businesses from those two groups of sea raiders, in addition to experience and renown. And the renown allows us to have more troops. Every 25 renown lets us have another, uh, another troop. The fish is just 12 here, so I'm going to buy the fish. Um, and in fact, let's while we're healing, the salt is 79. If it's under 150, it's a good price. So we'll buy the salt as long as it's under 150. And the cheese, um, I think if it's under 40, it's a good price. So... I will buy the cheese. Now, we have some prisoners that we need to sell as well. So we want to go to another city to sell them. And what we did was we bought a few other items that uh, we could trade for more money somewhere else at the same time. Also, my traveling 
I'm using control space to make it move quicker. Notice I'm at 57% now, so I'm healing while I'm traveling. I go to the tavern to see if there's a ransom broker there, and there is. So I click F to speak with him. Do I have prisoners? I don't have prisoners, do I? I thought I had prisoners. All right. Anyway, notice it, they have 1,236 dinars. And they will buy the salt for 257. So we make at least 100 dinar profit on each bag of salt. He'll buy the cheese for 86. So we will make at least roughly 50 off of the cheese. So I'll sell uh, salt. What they'll pay goes down a little bit each time. And let's sell some of the cheese. And so that's 1,132. And I still have half the salt and half the cheese left. Return. Now, is there anything we can buy here before we leave? Okay. So while we're healing, let's head over to Raven Inn and see if we can sell the rest of the salt and the cheese for a good price. See, he'll, he'll, he has 1,708, so 237 is still a large profit for the salt. And the cheese, 74, is still more than twice what we paid for the cheese since we bought it under 30. Even notice they've eaten 22 out of the 30 cheese, my troops. But it's still worth 52, and we paid roughly 30 for it. And actually, we paid under 30 for the fish, and they're offering 65. So I don't need this much extra food. I'll sell one of the fish as well. And that will be good. We'll get another 866 dinars. So if you look at the inventory, we're up to 8,000 now. And I'm at 64% and all the others are at 100%. Borch is at 58 and Ralph's 100. I'm going to move Borcha back up with the other troops. And let's head back into the area to fight. By the time we get there... We should, uh, we should be, oh, and you might want to see my renown is 248. Two more renown will increase my party size limit by another one. We're also working on gaining levels. So by fighting, um, you get experience. You get the most experience when you you physically swing your weapon and hit another person with the weapon. You get more experience from that than if you just stand back and watch your troops. So it is worth running up and fighting. 
Now we have the Swanian men at arms. Those are uh, a major addition. Those huntsmen are still running around. There's seven sea raiders. Thirteen and sixteen. Sixteen is the largest group, so I will chase after those. Not as big. Hold on. I saw a group over to the right. So I will run up here, getting closer to him. Those are 13, so I'm going to stick with the 16. Now, if I run up on the mountain, he'll run away from the mountain. For my mounted units, it's better to be out of the mountains. So coming up behind him and then I go back to chasing him and now we're heading away from the mountains so that's just to have um, better land for my mounted units when fighting him that's a nice head you have on your shoulders okay charge the enemy F1, F1. Um, now I'm going to say F1, F2. Tell them to follow me. I'm going to get them up on the high ground. If the people will stay out of my way. One, F2, F1. Get the infantry out into the front. On the high ground, the cavalry are quicker going down. Tell the archers to fire at will. That's th uh, three F3 F1. Zero F1 F3 charge. That's a little tougher in this kind of terrain. But we still had no casualties. Uh, 12 killed and 4 wounded. Now, Mattel's boots are not that good. So if you look, uh, actually, her equipment, she has 14 boots where plus 16 is better. The higher the number, the better it is. So that's a small improvement. So that's another thing. You improve your companion's equipment as you... Um, Um, as you fight these people and get equipment from them, you assign better equipment to your companions. And I'm at 84%, so we can continue as I have both slots for prisoners and slots for equipment. 
So I'm going to head back into the main area where the Sea Raiders should be at. Which is not far from my city Udin Udinia now. There's 35 Sea Raiders there. And that is a perfect number. You get renown, I think, from roughly fighting a group that's at least, I guess, half your size. Because I get renown um, from a group roughly this size. 31 is next to that 35. Okay. Today the gods would decide your fate. Oh well. Notice we have 208 troops against their 35. The reason is those people joined us in this fight. So it has a potential benefit of gaining relations with whatever um, country that person is with and with that person after the battle. So there are some benefits to fighting a battle with those people. So charge the enemy, F1, F1. Um, then I'm going to say F1, F2. Tell them to follow me. Because the otherwise my cavalry will run up ahead. And I want to pace them. Because if I attack without my cavalry, I tend to lose people. I'm going to wait till my cavalry gets here. And then I'm going to say 0, F1, F3, charge. See all these guys on this? Oh. Well, I drew those guys off of him, but... I took, you got, when you get into a group, you take damage. Crud. I'm almost down here. I lost one. My ally lost six. I have none wounded. He has three wounded. Well, I got wounded. And we killed 35 Sea Raiders. So I'm at 42%. Notice we get upgrades on troops out of this. So that's one benefit. Our money's at 78.44. If we go to Rivicheg, which is right next to this, we can go to the marketplace, sell the armor. That's 141 just from that. Remember, there were other people with us. We, You tend to get a little bit less in the booty uh, that you get out of um, the people. So um, 
but we'll sell what we got. That also makes inventory slots by selling what you get. And that's 248 dinars, which will put us over 8,000. There's no ransom broker here. We saw a ransom broker in um, Ravenin, didn't we? All right, let's cut across, see if there's anybody to fight. We at least cleared our inventory slots for more, um, more stuff from the the villains, the sea raiders that we defeat. Thirty-one sea raiders. I'm at forty-five percent. All the others are close to hundred, so I'll chase those thirty-one. Thirty-one's a decent size. It's about half of what I am, so I'm, I outnumber them by about two to one. That's a nice head you have on your shoulders. Charge the enemy. F1, F1, then F1, F2. Tell them to follow me. Choose the high ground. Because we're in the hills, we want to get our mounted units up as high as possible. Now I'll do one, F2, no, one, F2, F1. I will do three for the cavalry, F2, F2 to move them back a little bit. And then two for the archers, F3, F2, tell them to fire at will. One, F2, F1. They're firing. One Sea Raider down. Two Sea Raiders down. Zero F1. Notice all the Sea Raiders being killed just before with from the archers. F3, tell them to charge. I'm watching where my troops are going because that tells me where they're at. And I have no casualties. 
31 of them are killed, I get two renown and seven morale from this. I'm at 49% still, so I'm being a little bit careful. All right. I can't give any better equipment to Metald. So I'll head to work check and see if there's a um, ransom broker and if I and if I can sell the my prisoners and the equipment. You move quicker without your prisoners, by the way. Oh, there's something else I should tell you. Um, most castle, there's a ransom broker. All right, F. And the C Raiders give 112 each. That's 400, uh, roughly, uh, 448 just from those. And in the marketplace, the armor. For 74. And the arms. For 252. They only have 397 in the store, so they have enough to buy our items. Now I'm going to look in the goods and notice the fish is at 14 here. So I'm going to buy some of this fish, but I'm not actually going to buy salt and cheese this time. The, it, notice they're a little more expensive, and actually, I'm at 9,164. I'm almost enough to buy the next business. So while I'm traveling, I'm healing. I know, by the way, notice my renown is up to 249. My party size limit should go up after one more fight with a decent sized force of sea raiders. And I should also be able to push myself, I think, over 10,000. So I'll, I'll follow this 13 now. There's 13 farmers against 10 sea raiders. So I'm going to see if I can help the farmers. I'll get pluses with the Nords helping the farmers out. So I'll rush to the aid of the village farmers. Charge the enemy. F1, F1. 1, F2, F1. 3, F2, F2. To get the cavalry back a little bit. And now, backspace shows the true the people coming. Zero F one. Notice the archers are already killing sea raiders. And F3. Everyone charge.
Yeah, that's it's already done. I have no casualties. The farmers got no casualties. Seven Sea Raiders killed and two wounded. Now notice, my relation with the Kingdom of Nords increased from seven to nine. So that is the one of the benefits of helping out these farmers. We also get two Sea Raider prisoners out of that. And we could grab a rescue, a manhunter, or a crossbowman. I'm already at 62 out of 64. Once my renown goes up, I should have a few more. But I'm almost at my maximum for my company size already. So I'm not taking anybody else. And we get a little bit of booty here from the... Um, Sea Raiders that we defeated. Notice I got 39 dinars on the lower left-hand side of the screen, screen including uh, we got experience for our party. So I think uh, we get rid of... There's a group up there. Here's 13. But he's following them, so I'll just stand here. All right, let's see if we can find one more group of sea raiders. Oh, so notice we our net change, even though the wages for our party is 1,800, we still are making a profit of 3,721. So now I'm going to go start another business. The priority is doing these businesses. I'm going to try and get them in every city possible. So I don't need to fight anymore. I'm going to go start one. I'm going to, um, once I get all my businesses, I'm going to start purchasing better equipment for my people. Right now, the only equipment I'm using except for my horse is the equipment that we get by defeating people. Notice I have a heavy war horse. I decided my horse was too slow and too weak, and I just bought one of the best horses. So, um, so I'm going to work on getting businesses, and uh, then um, at some point I'll come back on with the next episode. Basically, I'll be repeating what I'm doing now until I get businesses in most of the cities.